Hey, good morning, good morning, good morning. This is Pastor Eric Brown with Daily Manor for your soul. Happy Saturday to you. I pray the Lord is blessing you real good right now. Look, just want to bring you a word of encouragement, something to help you along your way. And today that word is, it just doesn't matter. Oh, can I tell you, when you are serving of the Most High God, oh, you will find the enemy trying to come against you. Oh, the enemy will try to block you and stop you from accomplishing that which God wants you to do. But I'm just here to tell you that when you are armed with the word and when you have faith in that word from God or uh, whatever the enemy tries to do to you it just doesn't matter you know I'm reminded of John chapter 11 in John chapter 11 we see the event of, of Lazarus being raised from the dead can I can I take you back to the beginning of the story? Uh, in the beginning of the story, Jesus is ministering two days outside of Bethany. And as he is ministering there, as he's ministering there, he gets an urgent message um, from, from, from Mary and Martha, the sisters of Lazarus. And they're telling him to come quickly. The one that thou lovest is sick. And Jesus looked at his disciples. He does not change his plans, does not change anything he's doing. But he says this, he said, this sickness is not unto death but it is that god will be glorified and the son of man will receive some glory oh i want you to get that jesus spoke a word huh? and jesus let us know what the outcome was going to be right then and there he let us know that whatever outcome it was going to be it was going to bring god some glory somebody better understand that that whatever is going on with you it is designed to bring god some glory so when you're going through you better know that whatever you're going through whatever you're dealing with is designed to bring God some glory. So so Jesus kept on doing what he was doing because it just didn't matter. Oh, but, but then soon after, he got another word from Mary and Martha that said, don't bother. Don't bother about hasting. Don't, don't bother about coming because Lazarus is dead. And Jesus looked at his disciples and said, let's go. And it took him two days to get there. By now, it's been four days. By now, Mary and Martha are in distress. Why? Why? Because they know Jesus loved Lazarus and they know that they know that Jesus loved them but he didn't come quick enough he didn't come fast enough if only if only master you had been here he would not have died but Jesus Jesus told him it just didn't matter see Jesus was armed with a word Jesus was armed with the word that God was going to get the glory Jesus was armed with the word that I am the resurrection and the truth and the life Jesus was armed with a word and when you're armed with a word it just doesn't matter when you have purpose in God. It just doesn't matter. When you're in the will and the plan of God, it just doesn't matter what the enemy is, is, is trying to do to you, what the enemy is showing you. And so and, and so Jesus Jesus shed a tear. Jesus shed a tear for his friend. The Bible lets us know in John 11 that Jesus wept. But can I tell you, it just didn't matter that Jesus shed a tear. And so Jesus told them, take me take me to the tomb. And they said, but it's been four days. I don't know what you're going to do here. Jesus said, it just doesn't matter. And, 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 it, and then Jesus gets to the tomb and there's a stone in front of it. Jesus still, still says it just doesn't matter. And, and then Jesus tells them to move the stone and, and, and they make the excuse. Look, by now he's been in there for four days and by now he's stinking. But Jesus said it just doesn't matter because God, God will be glorified. Somebody better get that. And so Jesus told him to move the stone. And I know some stench came rolling out of that. But I'm, I'm, I'm here to tell you it didn't matter that Jesus was going to take the stench away too. And Jesus called Lazarus' name. And I know he had been dead for four days. And I know... I I know he was deep in that tomb. Oh, but can I tell you, Lazarus came hopping up out of there. And it didn't matter that Lazarus was bound head and foot with the grave clothes. Because Jesus said, loose him and let him go. I'm here to tell you, when they loosed him, they saw a live Lazarus. Why? Because Jesus had spoke a word. Why? Because Jesus had a word. Why? Because Jesus was the word. And no matter what the enemy had brought forth, no matter how the enemy had meant it for the their evil. God turned it around for their good. Lazarus lived. Jesus was glorified and God got the glory. Oh, somebody need to get that today. Let that be an encouragement to you that no matter what you're dealing with, no matter what you're going through, no matter what the enemy is trying to throw at you, God is going to get the glory. No matter, no matter what you're facing, no matter how it feels, no matter what it looks like, no matter what it 
feels like God is going to get the glory. And when God is aiming to get the glory out of your life, all whatever you're going through just doesn't matter. Look, I want you to be encouraged today and know that the tricks of the enemy just don't matter. The trials and tribulations just don't matter. The setbacks, the setups, they just don't matter because there will be a comeback. There will be a come up and there will be victory for you. Look, you have an awesome day and know that whatever the enemy is doing to you, it just doesn't matter because God has put a word in your mouth. Speak that word. Believe in that word. Trust in that word and walk this thing on out. Uh, have a great day. Have a blessed day. Uh, continue to be awesome in the Lord. Peace.